I know this app took quite a while to build, but like I mentioned several times, React Native introduces many new topics. So for the first time through, we took everything slow, and from here we'll pick up the pace, except, of course, when we cover a new topic. Before we finish this app, I want to discuss some of the major things we learned as we worked our way through it. First, we generated the project using the React Native CLI. This produced a new React Native project capable of running in either the Android or iOS simulators. Next, after we generated the project, we started up the simulator using either React Native Run iOS or React Native Run Android at the command line. Remember, that's how you start your application up in the simulator. Next, once we had our app running, we created quite a few different components. We found out that there were two different types of components inside of React Native. We've got our class-based components, which are components that have access to component level state and lifecycle methods. And then we also have access to functional components, which are largely presentational components that just produce some amount of JSX and show some data back to the user. Speaking of state, we use state inside of the album list component. State is a feature of React available only to class-based components. State is used to record and react to user interactions. So in our case, we fetched a list of albums and then we assigned or updated our state using the set state call. Remember that we only ever update our state object with this.set state. We never do something like this.state equals blah blah blah. Because we call set state, our component instantly re-rendered and showed the list of albums that it had retrieved after we made our HTTP request. Next, we created an album detail component by mapping over our list of items. Ah, here it is. So we mapped over our list of items, and for each album we had retrieved, we produced one album detail component. Passing this data, uh, or excuse me, we passed the album to the album detail component by specifying, by specifying a prop. So prop is any type of data that we pass from a parent to a child component. That is the prop system. Finally, we made extensive use of, it, of reusable components inside this application. So we've got our button tag here, we've got our card, we've got our card section, and finally our header. All four of these completely reusable components. And they're so reusable, in fact, that we are going to make use of them on our next project. So we are going to copy paste these directly over to our next project. So please don't you know, mess around with them too, too much. So this is definitely a nice looking app to start off with. We learned a lot, but there's still a tremendous amount to learn about React Native. So let's continue the next section and start up our next app.